met the Pope, could you please give us a brief of your me meeting with the Pope? Uh, I think the question is, our brother seems to have misunderstood that I met the Pope and he wants me to give an explanation of what happened when I met His Holiness, His Holiness, the Pope, you know, Baba, in Rome. Uh, you see, His Holiness, the Pope, there was some relationship between me and him, but it was all by correspondence. Personally, I haven't met him yet. You see, His Holiness, the Pope, the Arabs call him Baba, they call him Baba. When he went to Turkey, he made a pronouncement, and I'm quoting him. He said, we must have a dialogue with the Muslims. When he went to Kenya, he said, we must have a dialogue with the Muslims. When he went to Nigeria, he said, we must have a dialogue with the Muslims. What is a dialogue? A dialogue is a two-way process. We, we have certain problems and we discuss. You make your contribution, I make mine, and we come to a solution, answer to the problem. That is a dialogue. Is that what he's telling the people? No. Actually he is playing a game. He is a master psychologist. This Pope, this present Pope, is the most popular Pope they had in a thousand years. He is the most psychological Pope in a thousand years. This Polish Pope. Wherever he goes, I give you example, he goes and kisses the ground and he makes the Muslim happy, he makes the Hindu happy, he makes the Christian happy. Master psychologist. When he says about dialogue, he is actually telling his people, don't convert the Muslims. But he doesn't use the word convert, because if he uses the word convert, the Muslim is going to react. Because when his priest will come along with his dog collar, you know the collar turn upside down. He says, good morning, good morning. You know straight away he's come to steal your children, want to come to pervert your children. So you say, get rid of him somehow. Some excuse, get him out of the house. But if he talks about dialogue, you can't say no. Because Allah tells us to have a dialogue with him. In the Quran, Allah says, Pull, tell them, Ya Halal Kitan, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, Ta'ala, come. Ila kalimatin sawa imbainana wa bainakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get onto a common platform. Let's come to some agreement. About what? That we worship none but Allah. And that we associate no partners with Him. And that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. But if they turn back, tell them that we are Muslims. We have submitted our wills to the will of Allah. This is Allah is telling us to have a dialogue with him and he wants to have a dialogue with you. We can't say no. But he doesn't mean that. I knew the game that he was playing. So I wrote to him, I said, Your Holiness, His Holiness, respectfully, you are talking about dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. I said, look, I am prepared to come along and have a dialogue with you in St. Peter's in Rome, in your own hometown, in your own home. I've been there. See, once before, I passed through Rome, I went to the Vatican, and I've been to the St. Peter's in Rome. Huge, huge. It's unimaginable in size. Unimaginable. And there's a huge square in front of that St. Peter's. I said, now, that's the right place. You tell me when, I am prepared to come down. You talk about a dialogue, we want to have a dialogue with you. Because the Quran tells us also have a dialogue with you. We want to have a dialogue. No reply. So I sent him another letter. No reply. I sent him a telegram. No reply. I sent him another telegram. Look, when you start something, you don't let go. Others don't start. So comes the reply. He is prepared to receive me in the secretariat, meaning in private. I said, look, this is not a matter between Ahmad Dilat and the Pope. This is a matter between Islam and Christianity. I met the president this morning. That's private. You see, we sat down as friends and we chatted. That's something different. This guy is talking, he's a thousand million Muslims on one side are involved. One thousand two hundred million Christians are involved on the other side. Everybody wants to know what you're talking. What did you discuss? Everybody wants to know. He wants in private. So I asked him, I said, how big is your secretariat? You want to head in the secretariat? How big is it? Because three plane loads of young men from South Africa want to come. 
to the dialogue. Three plane loads, they want to charter special planes. My people are enthusiastic, very enthusiastic. There was a rumble in the jungle in Zaire, you know, that Muhammad Ali and Foreman, they had a boxing match. You, people didn't even know in the world what is Zaire. But whole world came to know Muhammad Ali and Foreman, heavyweight championship gold in the jungle, bum, rumble in the jungle. So everybody came to know, you know, boxing match in Zaire. Others, they won't know where Zaire is. Like the Maldives. You see, I came to Maldives because of my Libyan brother. You know, they had this conference here that enabled me to come here. And I'm telling everybody where my Maldives is, you see. You see? <laughs> so, three plain loads of young men want to go. How big is the secretary? No reply. I sent him another letter. No reply. I sent him a telegram. Have you received my correspondence? No reply. But through the post, I get this picture. This picture of His Holiness, the Pope, playing hide and seek. Look, look, it's pass it on. But you know, please don't own it. Just pass it on. They can just have a good look. You want to kiss him, kiss him, but pass it on and let the people see. Just pass it on. Don't give it to you. Just pass it through. You know, just have a good look. You know how His Holiness is playing hide and seek. In Urdu they say, Aak Micholi Khelenge, Ham Aak Micholi Khelenge. You know, little children play hide and seek. He's playing hide and seek. So actually, see it's a game, a game he was playing with the Muslims. And I, I, I sense that. I didn't know, to prove it, I meet Dr. Abdullah Nasif of the Rabita in Jeddah. I meet him in Birmingham at a luncheon. Somebody had given us luncheon and then we are sitting together. So Abdullah Nasif is asking me, we are on first name relationship. Was, Ahmad, what happened about that dialogue of yours? So I explained, I said, no, that fellow was playing the fools with the Muslims, man. You know, he was making a fool of us and I caught him out because I caught him that what he was trying to do is playing fools with us. He says, you know, Ahmad, he did it to me. So what? He said, he did it the same thing to me. So what did he do? Dr. Abdullah Nasif of the Rabita. He said, he did it to me. What did he do? He said, he called me for a dialogue. And I went. He said, Bhole Bhale Musulman. You know, simple Muslims. We are all like simpletons. You know, simpleton? Simpleton in English? What do you mean? Tons of simplicity. Huh? Does it mean that? Simpleton means bloody fools. You know that? Idiots, idiots. Simpleton doesn't mean full of simplicity. See, Mr. Didat, he's such a simple fellow. You know, he felt also oh, he took off the jacket and you know, he had rolled up his sleeve and you know, he was, you know, just informal like any one of us. It's all going down now. Okay. So simple is something and simpleton is another. We Muslims are treated like simpletons, idiots. So he went and he said, they, he, they, I was received, well received, in the waiting room. I sat down for 10 minutes, waiting to see His Holiness, the Pope. Then they took me into another waiting room, a higher grade. I sat there, waiting for the Pope, His Holiness. Then they took me to another waiting room. Grades, grades, you're going as if you're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> you know, Nika Allah. You know, he said, have the, the vision of God. This Pope now, you, suspense is being created. One level, another level, another level, and in comes the Pope. Charming, charming. I don't know whether he embraced him, kissed him, I don't know. But, he said, you're from Egypt? So Abdullah Nasir said, no, I'm from Saudi Arabia. See, maybe they were fishing for some Egyptians. He was fishing for some Egyptians. Maybe there were some Egyptians also on the line, in a queue, waiting somewhere. So he said, no, I'm from Saudi Arabia. So the Pope says, you know, you don't allow us to build churches in your country. So Dr. Abdullah Nasif said, he said, you allow us to build mosque in the Vatican? You allow us to do that? He said, no, 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 I don't mean Makkah and Medina, but in the rest of the country. 
He said, look, we allowed you people freedom of religion, for you people to have your services, but you have been using each and every place of worship as a center for Christianizing the Buddhists from, from, uh, from Ceylon, from Korea, and the, uh, people from the Philippines, from, from all over the world, when they come, the Hindus and all, you are trying to Christianize them all. You are using them as centers of Christianity in our countries. Is that what Allah wants you to have a dialogue about? No. Allah says, Allah na'amuda illallah. That is what you're going to talk about. Not about, you know, your fishes are too expensive. You know, can't you reduce the price of fish or the price of oil or the price of onions in your country? Is that what you want to talk about? No. Allah tells you what to talk about. I go to Malaysia. I meet Tunku Abdul Rahman, the old president, prime minister of Malaysia. So he also came to know around that time and said, Look, Ahmad, what happened about your dialogue with the Pope? <laughs> I can't blame the young man from asking the same question. Everybody was, what happened? So I told him what had happened. He says, you know the guy did it to me. I said, what did he do to you? He says, he called me for a dialogue. And he says, I went. <laughs> he's catching everybody out. He's making fools out of everybody. The Muslim is so simple. He says, you have a dialogue. So what dialogue? Of the missionaries, these Catholics were caught drug smuggling, drugging. And the penalty is the penalty there for drugs in Sabah. So he said, look, can't you intercede on our behalf to the Sabah government <laughs> to let our people go? <laughs> is that what Allah wants you to have a dialogue about? No, they have been making fools out of us left, right and center. And if you allow that guy to come into your country, Wallah, you would have started an opening of a rot. Cancer, cancer in the country. I don't know who made the decision to keep the fellow out. I said, keep them out. Keep them out. They want to pollute you, pervert you. If they want to have a talk, they say, look, my uncle Didad is there. We'll send him over. I'll go and do the talking for you. Keep them out. You know, any Americans say, look, you go and arrange a meeting in the Madison Square Garden and we'll send Uncle Didad there. You talk with him there in your country. Inshallah.